Hey guys, my name is Rob with NGM Modeling and today I'm going to cover 7 mistakes that new models make. So one of my jobs at NGM Modeling is to go over all the applications that get sent in and I go over thousands of them a year. So today I'm going to go over some tips with you that help people and some things to avoid when you're trying to become a new model. The very first one is pretty important. You'd be surprised how many people make this mistake. It is that they have their Instagram account set to private. Now on any given day, we get between 50 and 100 applications when we have a casting. And one of the main things we do is look at your Instagram to see how you are in your normal everyday life. And if that Instagram account is set to private and we cannot see it, we're just going to move on. And that is how a lot of casting directors work. So make sure that you have your Instagram set to public if you want to be a model uh, because you're going to get a lot more consideration that way. Second reason that that is important is because people that are hiring you for brand reps or whether it's a boutique or something like that, they're going to want you to be exposing their product to the most number of people. And if it's set to private, they're going to think to themselves, we're not gonna get our money's worth out of hiring this model. The second big mistake we see people make when they're starting out as a new model is to sign with an exclusive agency. There is no reason to sign with an exclusive agency when you're starting out in modeling because they cannot guarantee you full-time work. You need to have as many people and yourself looking for jobs for you, and the only way to do that is to have multiple agencies multiple people and to be able to be out looking for your own work. So do not sign with an exclusive agency. They're going to limit your opportunities and limit the number of jobs that you're going to be able to get right away. A third mistake that we see models make all the time is they don't say in their Instagram profile or their website rates available or list any type of rate. And that gives people the impression that you're willing to work for free. And while that may be the case, sometimes you want to be able to dictate when you'll work for free and when you're gonna charge for a job. And if you don't have rates available, people are just going to assume that you don't have rates and that you're willing to basically do whatever they want you to do for free. And if you don't ask for it, they're not going to pay you. So make sure whether it's in your Instagram profile, your website, whatever it is that you have out there promoting yourself, put rates available or email for rates, that type of thing. The fourth problem that we see is that there is no clear way to contact you. And if you are modeling and you have uh, a website, if you have your Instagram again, which those are the two main ways that people will find you, you need to have a way that you want people to contact you. Say, Here's the email for bookings, or go to this website, or here's my agency. Uh, sometimes we'll see people that would be great for something that we're doing, but we really have no way of knowing how they want to be contacted. Sometimes we even send them a message, which if they're not following us, they don't really see because it gets sent to the private uh, message area. So there's really no way to contact them well. And if we have to wait a week to hear back from them, um, it's too late and we've already moved on. So make sure that there's a, a place that you're checking your messages daily and that you let people know what that place is so that they can contact you there when they are interested in hiring. Number five is professional headshots and comp cards. We do in-person castings a lot of the time and one of the things that people do is they show up with really bad comp cards, really bad headshots, and it just tells us that they aren't really taking this seriously yet. And it tells us that they probably won't take our job or our role seriously as well. So if you're taking yourself seriously, take the time, get some comp cards designed, get some good headshots done, and you can present yourself as someone who is serious in the industry. I would say out of 100 people that come to a casting, maybe only 10 have professional looking comp cards and headshots that are really good, printed on nice paper, good lighting, everything done well. 
and those 10 people really stand out above the rest of them. So if you want to give yourself a really easy way to get a leg up on everyone else, get good comp cards, get good headshots done, and you will immediately stand out just by your professionalism. Sixth mistake that we see people make is not being professional on Instagram or their other social media. Trust me, if we're going to hire you, we check your social media, all your social media. We check everything you've got and we see how you present yourself to the world because when we hire you, you are representing us, you're representing our clients and we want to know how you're going to do that. So if you're trying to work as a model, make sure that your social media presence reflects what you're trying to sell to uh, the general public for companies. And it's really important because if you have a bad reputation on social media, people are not going to want to work with you and not going to want to hire you. And the seventh and final mistake that we see people make all the time is thinking that opportunities are just going to come to them. This is not the case in modeling when you're starting out. You need to be out asking people, being persistent, asking what opportunities are available, send some messages out to people, send some emails, respond to a bunch of castings, and opportunities will come for you. But don't expect just to sit back and have someone contact you. Go out and contact them. Like I said, when we have a casting uh, that is open, we'll get between 50 and 100 applications a day. So we're not really in a position to go out and be looking for people just scouring the internet for them. Uh, so make sure that you're out asking. And sometimes a well-timed message or a well-timed email may be just the thing that we were looking for and we hire people just on the spot if they're what we're looking for. So don't, don't be like over persistent, but make sure you are out there getting your name in front of people and, and showing them what you have and what you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave us a comment, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.